Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to make a medieval sword. So let's first adjust the grid size. You do that by clicking in the grid and use the left square bracket key. And here's the grid size to decrease the grid size. Let's make it 32. Go to top view and we're going to use polyline snap to grid. And we're going to draw the blade now. And polyline you click for a point and you keep clicking for more points and then you double click to end select it let's mirror it over the blue one there the Z and while this one is still selected, control click the other one and we're going to unite them to make one single piece. Let's go to polygon and give it some height to this. So select the top and extrude it. Go to edges, click on the plane to deselect. We just want to select this one and we want to split it and want to split it in two pieces. And nothing happened, but when you go to vertices, you'll see it added a point in the middle. And we're going to connect that point, control, click the other point, and connect them. Go back to edges. We're going to select the top edges and shift alt select selects all the top edges and then hold the control key down and deselect the edges you do not want. Namely these three. You just want the edges on the the end of the plane and look at the height of the object it's 77 so we have the edges selected we move them relative minus 77 all right let's uh, make the follower here here's a picture of a sword so I want to make this one the follower. Let's go back to here. Let's click on the plane to deselect. First, uh, let's pull it out. We want to select this. And we want to extrude it twice. Once just a little bit. And let loose and extract, extrude again a little bit more. Now let's go to vertices. Click on the plane again to deselect everything. We're gonna knife new vertices in, and you just just eyeball it. You can do it precisely, but uh, over there, and then a little bit less like that over there, and then do the same thing on the other side. Again, you can do it precisely. Or you can just eyeball it. I just eyeball it. Okay, now we're gonna connect edge, uh, vertices. Control click this one and connect it. And then connect. Now we're going to move, so select that one and use this one to push it all the way in and then select this one, push it even more in. It's the start of the fuller. Now we're ready to uh, extrude the blade. Polygons, click on the plane to deselect. Select that one. 
and we need a lot of room to make the blade so we're gonna extrude it because we're gonna leave this alone extrude it extrude it even more like that uh, that looks good let's color it in the blade looks already pretty good so let's uh, polygons select that one select the polygons from the color and we're gonna give it a different color so it stands out let's make it really dark okay Oh, we forgot one. While still selected, select that one. Select it. Sometimes it's hard to get them to select and then apply again. And now we have all of them. Looking pretty good. Let's make sure it sits on the plane. So we go to Object, Move and place on the grid and well first we have to reset everything place on the grid and now we can mirror it over the y to make the other side of the sword and while it's selected control click the other one and merge them okay a little bit big so why don't we scale it down let's scale it to about 40 percent there we go now we can look at it better so it's a little bit short blade but that's okay let's see if we can extend it a little bit polygons select that one control click select the other one and move it there we go now we have a so you can make the blade as long as you want and the blade is uh, fairly low polygons we can even make it lower polygons by going to object and optimize so look at the polygons 82 drops it down to 60 less edges too Make sure it looks good. So once you have a blade, you can make any, uh, remember the picture here, the, the guard, the grip and the pommel. And so I will show you how to make one, but it's really up to you to make your own. Uh, I'll show you, let's do it with a cylinder. and I'm gonna move it reset it move it to absolute origin and rotate it over the blue one the z 90 and let's scale down a little bit let's move the blade So we're gonna make the guard now. Okay, let's see. Um, we want to have the cylinder. It's 120. So let's move it over relative and move it over on the x minus 60. Let's bend it a little bit. And the way you do that is you rotate over the Y minus 10. And then you extrude it a little bit. And let's do like 30. 
And you go back to rotating, extruding, rotating, extruding, rotate, extrude. And let's go to edges and adjust it a little bit. And control shift and double click on an edge will make an edge loop. And you can scale it down a little bit. And click in the plane to deselect. Control shift and go to the next edge loop and scale it down a little bit. Shift click on the plane, control shift, click on that one. That one. And then switch to polygons and click in the plane and cl click that one and scale that one down like that. Okay, mm, object. Let's mirror it over the blue one again. The Z. And then control click that and unite them. And I used unite so we can scale it down if we want to. Well, it looks pretty good. Like I said, there's millions of ways to make a guard and a a grip and a pummel so I'll just continue with the cylinder again move it to the absolute origin and this time we're gonna rotate it over the X 90 and move it Let's scale it a little bit. Polygon move. Like that. Let's adjust the blade a little bit. Polygons. Select that one and scale down a little bit. Like that. Then go back to this one and scale it completely down. We want the hand basically f to fall back. We don't want it to sit next to the guard. We want to sit it, have it sit next to the pummel. So let's make the pummel there sphere. Move it. And position it, scale down, so you can dress this up in the gallery over here. I put in uh, a sword that has uh, uses uh, rings here for the grip and a different style for uh, the guard with squares. It's all up to you. Let's uh, give it some more color. Let's pick that one and give it a nice, uh, yeah, nice brown color. And let's select that one and the guard and give it a dark color. There you go.
medieval sword with a fuller pommel grip guard the whole thing thanks for watching you can watch more tutorials at figaro.io